Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a review and walkthrough of Canva's new AI tools. So Canva has released two AI tools. The first is the Magic Writer and the second is the Magic Designer. So both of these tools allow you to leverage AI to create content, get design ideas, and essentially create your designs a lot faster by leveraging AI. So let's go ahead and take a look at these tools. We'll first get started by taking a look at the Magic Writer. As I mentioned earlier, the Magic Writer is an AI copywriting tool that's built into Canva. So it's very, very easy to use. As you can see here, I've been playing around with it. But essentially, all you have to do is click the big plus button here, and then you hit Magic Write. And then this is where I think it's really good because it's not a pre-built template. Um, you're able to write any type of content or generate any type of content that you like. All you have to do is use five or more words to describe what you would like to write. So for instance, I can ask it to, to write me a Facebook ad copy for a backpack with Wi-Fi. And as you can see here, we get a pretty short but um, to the point output. Um, for this specific prompt, introducing our new backpack with built-in Wi-Fi, stay connected on the go, stay connected on the go with ease, shop now and enjoy the ultimate travel experience. So again, there's a variety of different things in which you can write using this specific template. So not only can you generate short copy, you can also generate longer forms of copy. So I've asked it to write a video script for a YouTube video about the cheapest countries to travel to. And as you can see here, we get a video script from Canva. So we get the intro, we get the body, and we get a couple of different destinations in which you can travel to that are affordable. So um, you can use this Canva writer for a variety of different types of content, both short and longer form content. I don't think you'd be able to write blog posts um, with this, but you would definitely be able to write um, shorter to medium sized content. And from my research, I do believe that they're using GPT-3 or GPT-3.5 to um, power this AI writer. So they are using OpenAI. So essentially anything that you can use um, traditional AI copywriters to do, you can ask those same inputs on Canva writer and you should be able to get those same outputs. Some other things that are included within this writer are the ability to add a table. So you can create a table within this document. You can also add your headers. Um, you can add your body, you can, you can add a checklist, bulleted list, numbered list, pie chart, and so on. So essentially, this is kind of like a Google Docs um, on steroids because you have the AI power features included. So, so I think this is a really good move by Canva because it allows you to do all of your content strategy or your content creation in one place. And I think that's the point um, that Canva is trying to get at. They don't want you to leave Canva to use another platform. Um, so they've integrated these AI tools to allow you to do everything that you need to do within these tools when it comes to content creation. And if you went ahead and highlighted any of your content and you clicked on the plus button, you'd also be able to get some additional features. So you can summarize your text, you can expand your text, you can rewrite, or you can edit with the magic writer. So if I click edit, I can actually go ahead and edit this and it will edit that paragraph for me. Again, if I want to highlight this, click plus, I can um, expand the text. So it'll actually go ahead and expand that text based upon the inputs. So as you can see here, we actually get a lot longer um, outputs here when it's expanded. So you definitely could generate longer forms of content, but I don't think you'd really want to. Um, you can also summarize the text. You can rewrite it. So if you wanted to write it so it's a lot better, again, you can do that with the Canva writer. So a lot of pretty cool features there. Again, let's try the magic writer and use it in a actual use case that you would need if you are creating content or creating a design. So let's say for instance, you wanted to create a flyer. You can start by using the magic writer and tell it to create to create an engaging copy for a flyer about a back to school sale. And as you can see here, it's giving us um, that copy. So get ready to hit the books with our amazing back to school sale. From backpacks to notebooks, we've got everything that you need to get started. Um, with this school year off on the right foot don't miss out on our unbeatable deals and discounts so as you can see here we got some pretty good copy and if you actually went ahead and click the plus button you can actually open up the design um, templates so we can go ahead and copy your content and then if you click on the plus sign again you can open up design and design will be like the traditional area of canva and then you can then paste your content in here and start um, doing your content creation. So as you can see here, you can combine the writer with the designer to help you create content a lot faster. So I think the writer is actually a very useful tool included in Canva. Um, I was a little bit hesitant when I heard that they were releasing an AI copywriter because it didn't really make 
sense for them to do so, but I do think that it goes well and it's complementary to their other features and tools. So this is the Magic Rider by Canva. If you wanted to use it for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below this video alongside with the other AI tool, which is called the Magic Designer. So now that we've taken a look at the Magic Rider, let's go ahead and take a look at the Magic Designer. So the Magic Designer allows you to visualize your design ideas with a selection of refined templates made just for you. You start by uploading an image. You can save time by previewing multiple custom templates to get an idea of what will suit your needs. So essentially, you upload an image and then um, Canva will take that image and try to understand what um, you're trying to design. So for example, you can upload an image from your computer or you can choose any of the images that you've recently uploaded and use on Canva. So for this example, I'm just going to use one of the templates or sorry, one of the images that I've used on Canva, which is Anthropic. And as you can see here, we get some various designs that we can use. We get a video, we get an Instagram post, we get a Facebook video, we get um, a feed ad, we get an Instagram post and so on. So it's pretty cool that you're able to get these design ideas because if you're not very good at designing or if it takes you some time to get inspiration, you can get some quick inspiration here in terms of design and then you can just go ahead and click on whichever one you like the best. So for instance, let's say we like the um, feed ad, I can click on that, I can customize that template and boom, there you go. That logo has already been included. And then we can just go ahead and customize this for whichever type of design we're trying to create. So I think this is a really, really um, cool tool because again, it allows you to get to your design a lot quicker. Now you can actually go ahead and change the style. So if you wanted to change the colors, you just scroll down and you can change that color scheme. So you can change the color scheme to match whatever um, style you're going for. And then you can actually go ahead and add your own custom headline. So I've changed the headline and as you can see here, it's updated the headline in all of these different images. And again, this is pretty cool. I think um, this allows you to really get some quick ideas for your design and then you can just go ahead and choose whichever you like the best and then create and make it your own. And if you wanted to, you can use the filter. So let's say you're just looking for social media specifically Instagram post, you can filter by that and then you'll only get Instagram post. So again, this is pretty cool because you can get some quick inspiration in terms of designs and then you can then just click on whichever you like the best, customize that template and then um, use the traditional Canva editor to make this design your own or um, create it in any way that you like. So overall, I think both of these tools are really useful and I think they allow you to save time when you're creating your content and creating your designs. Both of them are very complementary to all of the other features and the functionalities that you have on Canva. And I think they're both useful because they just allow you to get things done a little bit quicker by leveraging AI. So let me know in the comments below what you think of these tools. Will you be using it in Canva or have you used it already? And let me know if you like it or not. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.